So I made an initial impressions video on season six, but I hadn't really fully covered the finale or maybe the last three episodes of season six of My Hero. But now I have fully watched the finale and everything season six has to offer. And man, I just can't even begin to explain how great this season ends and also how hyped I am for the rest of this show, basically, and kind of the end game that we're going to be building to. First off, there's just so many awesome moments here. I love season six, but honestly, it does frustrate me a bit that the show's earlier seasons and honestly, just everything else with this show wasn't at the same level. The story here is so much more mature. It has honestly just way higher stakes than ever before. So it just sucks that I feel like season six honestly is at a whole different level than the previous seasons were. I selfishly wish the older seasons were kind of more like this or in this vibe, honestly. But either way, I'm still just happy overall that we are getting what we are getting here with season six. So let's go ahead and dive into the season a little bit more and go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already to stay updated with all my anime videos. Off the top, these last few episodes are packed with emotion. And and honestly, these were some of the most somber moments in the entire show, at least from what I, you know, remember. The moment with Deku and All Might talking and Deku basically saying that he's pretty much on All Might's level at this point, whether that means power or just as far as what, you know, weight they're carrying on their backs and, you know, that whole thing. And the fact that All Might pretty much doesn't have any powers either, it is really kind of, it's just really sad knowing and seeing now. I think this is a really big moment because it really showed that Deku really has kind of taken his place, you know, whether that be his place in the war between All for One or his place as far as as just most powerful heroes, you know? I love that the show is taking Deku more seriously, but again, I just wish we'd gotten some of this uh, more emotion and seriousness and, you know, overall intensity seasons ago. But still, again, I'm glad we were getting some of those more mature themes from the story. I feel like it makes sense also just given the way that the world and the story has kind of grown and how deep and dark things are right now, it makes sense why things are the way they are. I also think Bakugo has some huge moments here that I just love to see. He really seems to understand what it's like to be a hero now, honestly, and that's not to say that he didn't know that before, but I just feel like he isn't mad at Deku for every single thing that Deku does anymore. It definitely seems like he wants to help Deku, that he wants to be equals with Deku now more than ever. So Bakugo has some great moments that I really did like. On top of that, the overall feeling of Bakugo's relationship with Deku just feels a lot more healthier and honestly it doesn't feel like as kind of annoying and frustrating as it's felt before. And then also just the whole scene of Class 1A going to rescue Deku and bring him back was honestly just like, wow. Like this is, in my opinion, on the level, if not maybe even more hyped than like the Sasuke retrieval arc. Obviously, the Sasuke retrieval arc was multiple episodes of just insanity. Also, I loved the throwback moments with the other students while they're fighting and, you know, everything. They kind of flash back to or way earlier, like season one, season two moments. I thought that was really cool. It's really easy to forget some of those things, especially because my hero has been running for so long now. So getting those little splash of throwbacks was really fun. Also, Bakugo's speech. Also, I just hate to keep just going on Bakugo. He's had so many good moments at the end of the season here, but his speech to Deku was just truly like, dude, I can't even begin to explain the feelings I was getting from that speech. Seeing him break down and get really vulnerable with Deku was just so like, dude, like it's just, I feel like that's one of the big things that really made Sasuke such a likable character is that when he had emotions, it felt real. Like it really felt like he was holding in so much feelings, you know, and all that stuff. Bakugo feels the same here where it definitely feels like he's just holding in so much and he's finally able to explain to Deku how he feels and I just think even him apologizing to, to Deku is just insane and it's just such a good good portion of the season I honestly don't think anything has matched it yet um, I'm really excited to see where this goes like bro the scene when Deku falls over from being so tired and Bakugo catches him literally might be the saddest most heartwarming moment in the entire series but like I don't even think anything comes close to it but it's just so just like ah, like it, it's really been a minute I feel like since we've seen Bakugo have Deku's back that wasn't you know him yelling at him or him feeling insecure like also just gotta say here i kind of love just the way that my hero is taking this kind of infinity war vibe you know spoilers for infinity war i guess if you you know haven't seen it but the way that they're just unapologetically yeah the heroes lost like we lost i think that's just so it really hits home because that's like been the theme this entire time was the heroes are the winners you know the heroes always win you know infinity war where the heroes finally lose you know what happens when the winners that always win finally lose and i just thought that was really powerful here and even then like when deku comes back to uh ua the city and the people are just yelling at him you know being mean to him the show reminds us that Deku is still like a kid in high school like he's really not an adult despite all these responsibilities and power that he's been given he is still a very naive young person you know huge huge moment with Stain coming back I'm just so interested to see if this actually becomes something I don't know 
know why I thought Sting was like dead or something, but seeing him back in the show really just made me feel a little bit more about, you know, what's what's the hypocrisy of these heroes? You know, they kill people, they hurt people, but, you know, they have their own wants and needs the same way that villains do too. So it's kind of like this back and forth. Um, I'm really excited for that. I hope you see more Stain in the future, uh, especially his kind of talk with All Might in this season. That little portion was just really, really good. And also, I think the kind of analysis on how All Might feels is really interesting because we really haven't dealt with like older characters in shonens and most animes we don't really focus on older characters you know same thing with endeavor we don't really focus on like grown men it's usually like teenagers or younger 20s that sort of thing right so to see them kind of talk about how all might feels helpless and weak and all these things is really interesting i want them to dive into that more i think that could really lead to a super mature story with all might and how he's kind of battling you know not really being relevant anymore and that whole thing and then also just the ending here seeing more heroes from other countries is going to be super fucking sick i do hope we get time maybe to live with these heroes a little bit it would really suck if we get introduced to like some really sick heroes from like the uk or us or whatever and then within an episode they're dead so i would hope that we get some time with these new heroes that they're hyping up that also might means we just might get a ton more powers and abilities coming in so that's always really exciting too also seeing america's number one hero is just super super sick because they're hyping her up like crazy and the fact that she's shown literally standing on a jet while it's flying makes me feel like she has to be super powerful at least maybe at least all might's level so i'm interested to see the other heroes in these other countries come in i wonder if that's just going to expand the world of my hero maybe they have something to do with all for one who knows but overall season six of my hero has been awesome i don't think i've been this hyped about my hero in such a long time i really think that this is the best time to get back into the show if you guys are not watching my hero or if you guys are putting it on a you know a break or whatever i think this is like the best time season six just finished up so you can binge it all entirely i might have to just go manga on this one just because it's so hype it's so exciting and uh season seven i'm not sure if there's been any announcements made or dates released or anything but really excited about this so what do you guys think about my hero season six did you guys watch it did you enjoy it did you love it did you hate it let me know i'm really excited to move forward with my hero and hopefully we get some more information on the next season but go ahead and like this video subscribe that mean the world to me you can go ahead and click this random video over here and then you can also click this video over here thanks for watching to the end and have a good one